Oh, oh, oh my god, one more! One more, one more, one more! 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 One more, Wow, oh my gosh, the anticipation is killing me. On November 15th, 2021, I turned 34, and I always get a little reflective on my birthday. Last year, on my 33rd birthday, Maybe Fly was still two and a half months old, and we were still floating by on COVID unemployment and savings, and I was still working 50, 60 hours a week on our weekly videos. Right on my birthday, we got an email from YouTube notifying us that we were eligible to start monetizing on YouTube. I still remember our first day monetizing. We earned $5.44 and I was so excited. I texted all of my friends and family. And even though $5 isn't exactly life-changing as a dad in the Bay Area, I was still super grateful and surprised because I thought it would, might take at least a year or two to start earning money on YouTube. When, when I first started start this video, I was a little bit scared. I, I want to be do well mm -hmm. if I want to do something, but I'm not knowing how well we are, go we are, we are going to be. Yeah. Uh, 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 還有比很多人,很多人知道我,我比我的經驗分享給大家知道。My wife surprised me with a really sweet card to celebrate this milestone, and with her permission, I wanted to read some of it because it really captures how hard we worked to get here. Dear Randy, I am so, so, so incredibly proud of you for reaching 500,000. From the beginning, you have believed in yourself and dared to dream so big. You've been persistent in your pursuit, even on hard days, despite lack of sleep. There has never been a guarantee you would get to this moment, and yet you still chugged along. I hope we never forget the early days of texting our friends when each new video dropped, constantly wondering if the shoe would fall and people would get tired of our videos, posting on a million Facebook groups and subreddits, cluelessly trying to style a shot to make it look cool, sending the video to your mom a night or two before and cramming to get the translations done, and of course, obsessively refreshing YouTube Studio to check our subscriber count. We've come so far in such a short time, and none of this from the thousands of people being impacted by each video, to the life that we now enjoy, to the bond we are building with your parents, will be possible without you and all the hard work and heart that you put into the channel. I love you so much, and again, I am so proud of you. Yeah. This whole journey has been one giant surprise after another. On March 25th, we crossed the 100,000 subscriber mark a little over 200 days into our channel, which is a moment I'll always hold dear to my heart. A few weeks later, Special so day. YouTube sent us this silver play button. Special so, day. Special day. Nice. Presented to Made with Lao for passing 100,000 subscribers. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. wow. That's big. This is Made with Lao. Oh, yeah. ah. Wow. Wow. Dude, this, ah. I just got chills. Oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. Oh, yo. That's so shiny. Yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Cam, you're a star. Oh. For you. Yeah. For you, Cam. We've been sitting on this footage for a while, but to celebrate our first play button, we did a really heartfelt Q&A video with questions from our Patreon members. Even though that was over half a year ago when Cam was just learning how to crawl, a lot of the sentiments still ring true today. What does this channel mean to you? I think I can say something I really powerful you. Yeah. When I see you may steam fresh. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> she learned. <laughs> um, it means a lot to me, I think. It's so nice that we get to do it as a family. I get to know how to make these dishes for Hong Doi. It's so mm. special. Oh, Hong Doi. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone always knows that I'm Chinese. So I think there's a lot of people like me, maybe mm -hmm. half Chinese or you love your culture, but you don't know how to make all the things. So it's special for me to get to learn this. Yeah. yeah. Share it with other people who also want to learn, um, but don't know where to start. Randy have this kind of progress. I can say doing pretty well so far. And uh, are you proud of Randy? Yeah, I'm proud of Randy. 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 Yeah, proud of Randy. Wow. Do you guys doubt he's proud of me? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Good job! 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 Good Oh man. I think growing up I didn't really have ample opportunities compared to other families like to connect with mom and dad. Partly because of language, partly because of demands of raising us. So I feel like this is an opportunity for us to spend more time together. Just for me to learn about what their lives are like. I mean, it, it, I mean, I want to learn how to cook, but like that's also just as important to learn who they were and to be able to pass that down to Kim Kim. <laughs> I'm like very business minded and I like, I like enjoy just working on this, but I think you take all that away and I think we just, it just each week I get a chance to learn about them and learn about tradition. Mm -hmm. And I think like as a career, it's just super fulfilling to... It's cool you can even call it a career. Yeah, it's cool. It's crazy I can call it a career. Just to be able to provide for our family, not just can, but like mom and dad later through doing something that really fulfills me. More and more, I said this a few times in other videos, but just more and more I feel like just in talking to people that comment or email or message us is just like, I feel like a lot of people had this, because I've had this desire to document these recipes for like years. So I feel like a lot of Asian diaspora, Asian Americans, yeah. Asian Americans have had this desire to learn from their parents. What we're doing is like fulfilling that desire for a lot of other people like in our generation. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just special on many 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 levels. <laughs> Even before we launched our channel, every day I would recite this mission statement which I adapted from a great book called The Miracle Equation by Hal Elrod. And it starts with, I am committed to maintaining unwavering faith that we will build Made With Lao into a thriving community that warms the hearts and bellies of millions of people and families around the world every single month. We will continue putting forth extraordinary effort until we do. No matter what, there is no other option. After hundreds of days of reciting this, I basically have it memorized, but it's a great reminder because as excited as I get about the numbers, the views, the subscribers, it's really about spreading the love that I got to experience every day eating my dad's food growing up. It's been so heartwarming to connect with you guys, and I feel so blessed to be able to share this experience with all of you. It's been an absolute privilege to get to share and represent Asian culture and to play a small part in preserving these traditions. This past year has given us so much joy and I hope that we get to do this for many, many years to come. Oh my gosh. Dude, suspense. Wow.
過一次，多謝大家，多謝五十萬嘅粉絲繼續支持我哋。最後祝大家火雞節快樂，聖誕節快樂。新年快乐，大家平平安安、健健康康，多谢大家。